everyone. Uh, my wife and I are on the spider and we're making a run down Busker Road. Uh, one of the uh, untold good roads uh, in this area. It's not on any of the motorcycle maps as a good road and it isn't fantastic but it's got its it's got its charms and it's got its areas. It does have big giant power lines you run under for sure but uh, as we go along, it's a nicer, a nice scenic road. It's really a fun one to ride. It uh, actually is a sort of a cut through for me from my house to the little town of Oakboro, uh, where I used to uh, shop at the hobby shop that used to be there and uh, fly at the little remote control field I used to have there with my son when he was little. And uh, I don't come this way very often anymore. Uh, the hobby shop's gone, the field's gone. My son's a lot older now and we belong to a different club and uh, when we get to fly, we don't get to fly an awful lot. Let's take Philadelphia Church Road, right? how about that? That's a little different. You go down Buster all the time. It's another really nice little road out through here. It's a Sunday morning so I'm trying to keep it quiet. We're going to go on by some of the churches. Uh, people are funny out here um, and I understand it completely. I, you know, I've lived out here for, gosh, it's almost 30 years now, and uh, I'm still the new guy. Uh, but that, a lot of that's due to most of the people that live near me are related, and it's all been family land passed down and divided up. And uh, I got one of the few parcels around that wasn't reserved for family, and uh, got a couple of neighbors on either side of me, so they, they did let a little bit of it go, so we're not all family on that road. But, uh, my neighbor across the street, when he was alive, he used to get all over me for cutting the grass or making any noise on Sunday before 12 o'clock. He said, people are in church. He said, you don't want to you know, distract them from the message and what's going on and be a good neighbor. And so I was always trying to be a good neighbor. He didn't really even like me to cut my grass on Sunday. Um, he, uh, he said I ought to do that on Saturday, but of course I worked a lot of Saturdays and it was really difficult to work all week, come home and get out and cut three acres of field and road frontage after a long day of work. So he and I didn't always agree on that, but uh, I do still try to keep it pretty quiet. Uh, the Spider here has the stock exhaust on it, and uh, it does come across in the uh, uh, in the audio of this camera. It does come across actually a little louder than I hear it. So uh, maybe I'm just deaf, or the way the wind is going through my helmet here, but. Uh, I don't think I'm too loud. I'm certainly not any louder than any of the diesel trucks that come up and down through here. So I'm trying to be a good neighbor. That's what I guess I'm trying to get around to saying. I see a lot of you guys, especially on Sink the Planet, where it was in some places 4 in the morning or, or 6 a.m. or something like that, and you were really careful to, to uh, roll your bike down to the end of the street before you fired it up so you wouldn't wake up your neighbors. Now that's what's being a good neighbor. That's what gives people who ride motorcycles a good name. It doesn't give us a bad name. Now you don't have to do that. You're perfectly within your rights to fire up that big old loud motorcycle right there, right there under your neighbor's bedroom window, you know, as you get ready to go out early one morning. But uh, you know, being a good neighbor, you know, there's just there's really no reason to do that, is there? Okay, I've ranted enough on that subject. I like some of these roads through here. It's a really nice area. We sure love riding out this way, and this is, these roads are literally at the end of my street from where my house is here. I don't have to go anywhere to get access to these beautiful roads, and I'm so lucky. I just don't get to spend enough time up here now <clears throat> to satisfy my craving to ride these roads. But, uh, but I'm having a lot of fun in Atlanta, experimenting around and looking and seeing how far out I can go. I'm stretching my legs on the V-Star more and more, and uh, I plan to in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll get in some rides, uh, maybe up into the mountains and up around Tennessee and such, and get a chance to uh, meet up with some of the other motor bloggers that are up that way. We tried to have a little get in, a real quick little get together up at the Two Wheels of Suchus in Suchus, Georgia, and uh, between three or four of us, and uh, but unfortunately uh, none of us could make it. Uh, 
couldn't get it coordinated. So maybe we'll try that again another day, and I definitely would like to do that. But uh, I love group riding. I haven't been in very many at all, and uh, after that big group ride we took for all the way to uh, uh, from Marietta, Georgia to Chattanooga with uh, 1,500 other bikers on that memorial ride, that was that got it in my blood. I really enjoyed that a lot because, uh, as you know, uh, as a motor vlogger, and as you know, we all pretty much ride ride by ourselves. Uh, very rarely do we get a have somebody to ride with us when we go. So uh, anyway. Finishing up this solo ride with the little lady on the back, and we're gonna head up here and get something at the store. So you guys take care, bye-bye.